Today we're gonna talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush episode 27. Kaya, tutok na kayo dyan. After, wow, quite a while, uh, I'm able to review this anime again. And nagkataong, oh, kababalikan natin. But, uh, I'm gonna get on to, I'm gonna get on to business right away. Let's talk about the thumbnail. I'm sure you're wondering what, what this spaceship is all about. Well, if you take a closer look, this is the spaceship that now contains Mutsuba Town. <laughs> Mataro, one of the um, lackeys of Suijo, just got out of prison and well, he wasn't fully aware of the events that happened right after that. Kasi nakakulong na siya eh. Well, you just, just fill the in on what happened after they watched the um the the anime they just did as a as a as a collective. Eh, well, to 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 shot. Yeah, he was practically shot at the end of the episode. <laughs> if you've seen the previous episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, you know what led to this. So I strongly suggest, guys, that if you haven't watched that episode, panoorin yon. Para magets yon ang nangyari sa final scene nato. Now, let's get down to business. More base for practically the entire first half of the episode. Talagang frantic na masasabi mo ang pacing because they were in a mad rush to put to put this anime out. Eh, sabi ng isa nilang consultant, yung isang, uh, yung isang staff ng UTS, hindi ganun kadaling maglabas ng isang anime. And, well, there is, there is a, that is an absolute truth. Alright? In reality, no, do not expect uh, animators to put out an anime that quick. Talagang frantic yung pacing ng episode, at least in the first half of, of it. Kasi, like I said just a while ago, I'm gonna repeat myself. They were in a mad rush to put this anime out. Kahit mga isang episode lang sila. And uh, they were successful at it. Pero, as I was watching the episode, talagang I could feel the frantic pace the characters were going through. Talagang na-feel ko. So, the, the pacing served its purpose. It, uh, it made the audience feel that sense of urgency the characters are were going through in this episode. So, I can swap the pacing. And of course, well, the pacing from uh, slowed down a bit uh, for for the rest of the episode. Because hey, well, they're just they're just watching uh, they're watching the fruits of their the fruits of their hard work. No, flow naman. First gear shift here was when Chupataro first pitched this idea of this anime. It's actually based on probably his all-time favorite monster card, si Mig Chan. This gearship will tell you that well, Chupataro is now uh, taking the initiative of uh, uh, well, earning money legally. Kasi uh, he's pitching an idea of, the, of, uh, of an anime na dapat, uh, na dapat na gusto niyang i-produce, gusto niyang gawin. We can also say that through this gearship that Chupataro is now on his way to, um, uh, what's it called this? Getting into the fold of society the right way. Yun, parang ano eh. Talagang, he's making the effort now of, um, re of, of, uh, Sending things right. He's sending things right. Kung baga, talagang nag effort na siya ngayon na, na, mag, na magpakabuti. Second gear ship was, well, of all the funny things that would happen in this episode, it was the MIK that, that gave the major pitch in for this anime to finish. To finish, finish production. No brainer of a gear ship there, folks. Kasi, ang dami ng MIK it's led by uh, it's led by Manabu himself, aka Digan. Well, he's he's now officially part of Team Go Rush. Alright? A 
tsaka eh, siya ang, siya ang branch director eh. Manpower is practically at manabo's fingertips. So isang ganun lang siya. Ay, susunod tayo mga yan. Ayun. More work gets done. Work gets done faster. Productivity hack. Final gear shift. Let me remind you guys. All these three gear shifts happen within the first half of the episode. Alright? Just goes to show you how frantic the pacing was in the first half. Now, final gear shift. Was when, nung natisod si Yuhi, dahil sa pagmamadali nilang i- 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 ipadala kay Tsupataro yung finished work in, uh, naka, kasi nakatake na, nirecord na nila eh. Pag tisod niyang gano'n, syempre nabitawan niya yung final work. So, sa so pagmamadali, masalan na siya, masalan na niya pinulot yung tape. Hindi niya alam na black tape pala yung napulot niya. But, don't get me wrong guys. This was the moment that actually saved um, that actually saved the day for for everybody uh, that got involved in this episode. Uh, that, uh, that was one wild gear ship. <laughs> that was one wild gear ship. Kung papanoorin nyo yung mismo gear ship then the subsequent sequences it totally uh, uh, it totally solidifies it as a gear ship. Blood lies. Only one word for it, guys. Malinis. Number one factor there is there's no duel. So, kailangan go, kailangan gawin ng studio bridge na gawin malinis ang storyline to. Well, eh, whether we like it or not, guys, a Yu-Gi-Oh! episode without a duel scene is not much of a Yu-Gi-Oh! episode at all. Right? Whether we admit that or not. And you're, you're, that's the cold hard fact about this franchise. Pero, this one was was really entertaining. At saka yung, uh, like I told you guys, yung frantic pacing ng first half ng episode talagang mararamdaman mo. Because they only have to, they really need to put this enemy out in a week's time. Kahit makaisang episode lang, eh, mukha, mukha nga lang, mukha nga isang episode pa lang yung nagagawa nila sa isang linggo yun eh. Tapos, pinadali pa nila yung, ano, yung, yung pag-broadcast, pagsabit sa TV station. So, you really need a clean plot to, uh, to elicit the, uh, to elicit the urgency in the viewer dito. Eh, wala, walang duwin scene dito guys. Remember, if you've seen the episode already, walang dual scene dito. So, you really have to come up with a really clean plot this time para uh, to, keep, uh, to keep fans' eyes glued to the screen. Studio Bridge did an excellent job at this. Talagang, I can really say na malinis yung plot. So, pace, flow, and plot Mind you guys again, there's no dual scene, but all three came together for this episode. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, episode 27! Para na akong sirang plaka guys. No dual episodes here, but... Tutunza! Let me give you a parting shot for this one. This episode is quite relatable. Bakit? Because... <clears throat> there are a lot of anime fans out there who totally misunderstand the grind animators go through just to uh, just to put out an anime. Okay, syempre meron pang uh, meron pang uh, what's called this? Meron pang concept meeting yan. Ang director niyan magagawa pa ng storyboard yan. And you have to hire enough animators to to at least finish one episode in a week para para makapaglabas ako yung kahit isang episode man lang and well I hate to admit it guys but there are otakos that are that kalos ganong kamanhid when it comes to um, uh, the welfare of animators this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Gorash will tell you how um 
how brutal the grind can be for animators. Kaya, pero makilakita mong sublay sa visuals or um, uh, or yeah, basically the visuals of, uh, of an episode. Come on guys, go easy on these animators. Right? Stress ang number one kalaban nila. And if you, just, if you see one of those flaws, that is a result of it. Okay? So, I strongly suggest, guys, you watch this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush. Para magmulat na kayo sa katotohanan when it comes to... Yeah, when it comes to animators grind. Okay? And the, uh, and the potential... Uh, yeah, and the stress they go through each and every day just to... Just to have their work approved by the director. Just so they can put out... Uh, put out the latest episode... As fast as they can. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush! Episode 27!